Well, welcome back to part two of rebuilding the Studebaker wagon gear. Dan has the front axle completed, and now this part of the video is going to show the rear axle. On a wood axle, both ends have what is called a skein. This is what the wheel runs on. In this wagon, the threads on the skein and the nut both were stripped, and somebody had drilled a hole to hold it in place with a pin. So I found another skein in my boneyard, and I'm going to combine these two and actually repair the skein that's on this Studebaker wagon. And as is common with all wagons and buggies, the threads on the right-hand side are right-hand threads, and the threads on the left-hand side are left-hand threads. Now the nut actually holds the wheel on the skein, but inside these skeins is a long threaded leg bolt that actually helps secure the skein onto the axle. This is not what helps hold the wheel on. So when the wheel is removed, the outer large nut is removed, but this uh, leg bolt should never be removed. Now when the skein on the wagon was drilled and pinned, this hole went right through the leg bolt. So I was a little tentative getting it off because I didn't want this to break, but I finally got it worked loose and did get it out. Now I've replaced quite a number of these skeins on wood axles and most of them have a little void between the end of the wood axle and where the threads are. This skein, however, was pressed on with some type of a compound, I don't know just what it was, that completely filled all the cavity and actually helped adhere the skein onto the wood axle. 
So trying to get this skein off of the axle would have almost been just virtually impossible, short of perhaps burning it off. And finally, at about an inch in, I finally found the wood axle itself. I wanted about 11 inches between the inside collar and the shoulder where the threads were. And I was a little long, so I took the threaded end off of the salvage skein, chucked it up in the lathe, and then turned it down both in length and in diameter to match the old original skein. The end off of my salvage skein is cast, so instead of welding it, I'm going to hold it in place with the original leg bolt and then braise it in place on the old original skein. This is not something that requires thousands in tolerance. I can actually just kind of rough this in to blend it from the old skein to the new threaded end. And after welding the hole shut on the leg bolt, I'll reinsert it and we should be good to go. And Dan can continue working on the rear axle. Now while Dan was able to use the upright standards on the front bolster, the ones on the back were not salvageable, so this bolster was made completely new.
Now Dan always gives me a hard time about the difference between the old and the young. Here he is in a t-shirt and I'm in my coat. The grease that we use in these applications here on the fifth wheel plate and on the axle skeins themselves is just a standard automotive wheel bearing grease. This wagon needed a new brake hanger and a brake bar with a new set of brake blocks. The iron that Dan has in his left hand is a strap iron that will go up to the box of the wagon so therefore when the brakes are applied it takes the stress off of the reach and transfers it up to the wagon box. The reach hounds on this wagon were salvageable. But you notice we put a new block between the two. And what's a little different on this wagon is that the reach goes under this block instead of coming in between the two reach hounds like we'll see on some other wagons. So in just a brief overview, we fixed a broken uh, front axle hound. The axle hounds that were so rotted and split in the back to the lower stabilizer bar have been replaced. Both the front and rear bolsters that had splits and cracks and actually the mortises rotted out were both replaced. And Dan was able to use the upright standards on the front bolster. And on the back bolster, we put both new standards in. There's a new block between the reach hounds, a new upper uh, brake hanger, and the tongue needed a complete rebuild. The brake hanger and the brake beam needed to be replaced. And of course, all the wheels got their necessary repairs. So this completes the rebuild repairs on the Sudebaker running gear. And as always, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. See you next time.